My name is Davin Sturdivant, and in this AIM Learn Fast video, we will learn how to update your firmware for Ray Studio. So I raise competition cards, and I'm also a writer for Cart Pulse, which is designed to gather information about the sport of karting and put it into an easy to find place. So when I got in touch with Roger Cadell, who's the national trainer for AIM Sport, we decided to put together some videos about how to use karting data in Race Studio. We've broken them up into these little mini vignettes, hopefully to make it easy to consume. But if you have questions about whatever we cover, just leave a comment below and we'll put it in another video. So I'm going to turn it over to Roger and take it from there. So Roger, I've had my Micron 5 for a little bit, but I've never upgraded the firmware for it or the software related to Race Studio. Um, can you show me how to do both those things? I can. The the um, the the way that Aim Sports has done this now is is we use a um, you know an automated process that really helps you helps you take care of these things a lot easier. So uh, don't have to go out on you know to a dedicated website or anything like that. We do it right from the Race Studio 3 software. So uh, which is where you get your firmware and where you can actually even update Race Studio 2. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. We've got Race Studio 3 open, right? And um, when you when you're looking at it up here in the upper right hand corner, there's a there's a little blue cloud. And if if you hover over that, the, it says Web Updates. And when there are updates available, you don't have to check it all the time. Just uh, you know, go up there every once in a while and take a look at that. And when you get this little down arrow that uh, shows that there are downloads available. So right now we have one, and uh, we've got a Micron 5. I'm gonna I'm gonna connect to the my Wi-Fi, my 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 Micron 5 via Wi-Fi to to my Ray Studio 3. Come down here, connect. I'm not gonna be able to see the Micron 5, but um, it's running here in the background. So then we can come in here and um, and and connect to the Wi to the to the to the Micron 5. And what we have available then is let's go back in and check the the. Um, the web update button just to show you what that looks like. When there is a new version, it puts this little new new icon here alongside of it, and then it uh, it also bold bolds it. You know, makes it a little bit darker. Uh, right now on my screen, as of we sit here today, there's only a Micron 5 uh, version update that's available for for the equipment that I have sitting here, and we're going from what's on my on my PC is 122.86. And what's out there on the web is 122.92. When it sees that difference, it puts that little arrow up there. So all we need to do is come in and check that box. If you wanted to update Ray Studio 3, you, you could update that, and we could download that one as well. Since I'm current, I'm not going to do that. And then as soon as I get that highlighted, checked, you can come up here, and there's a download button. It's going to be grayed out until you, until you check something that you want to download. I'm going to go ahead and download that now. It's pretty darn quick on the uh, on the on the on the firmwares. The software it's a little bit larger file, obviously. And what you're going to see now is it automatically opened up. You know, try to guess where you want to go next. It automatically opens up this firmware upgrade for Micron 5 box. And uh, one of the interesting things it's just got a little logo here. It says there is firmware available for your device because it's talking to it and it's comparing the two versions versus each other. And then you can come down here and just simply when you're connected via your Wi-Fi. Click on the update device to 1.2292. Your computer, the way that the software is set up for these automatic uh, these, these downloads, is we don't keep a bunch of stuff on your computer behind the scenes, but uh, we always keep the the last three versions of 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 the firmware that you're working with. So um, as soon as we download this one, that 80, that 122.84 here from October 25th will will go away. And and we'll and we'll just keep the latest three, right? So um, just to keep your, you know, not to be loading a lot of stuff onto your computer. So uh, we can always backdate. If there's some th reason you find out, uh, you know, something didn't quite work the way you wanted to, and you wanted to go back a, a version of firmware, we always have the option, which is kind of nice. So uh, so simply click the one you want, update device to 1.2292 in this case, and in the in the background, you know, it's downloading. The way it works is it takes the the, the information off your computer, and it sends it versus via the Wi-Fi uh, to the Micron 5, and you're going to end up with a with a screen that's going to sit there. And it, right now, it's 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 downloaded the file. The Micron 5 says firmware upgrade is going on, and uh, some lights are flashing and things are happening. The the data transfer has already happened, right? So the uh, so the 
the PC, I could close this dialog box if I wanted to. And it, we first shoot the file over to the Micron 5. It unpacks it and does the firmware update. And right there, it's finished up. So uh, we can just go ahead and exit out of this box. We can uh, you know, take a look at, uh, you know, we're at that screen here. We could all, you know, um, go into the, the live measures. Let's, let's go ahead and connect again to this, uh, to the Micron 5. When it did the firmware update, it, uh, it canceled the, the connection there for a second. Let's go ahead and connect back up, and then we'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the firmware, and now it, can show, it shows you the device, the serial number, all the different things, including the, the firmware version on the, on the Micron 5. So in this case, 122.92. And uh, so that it's that simple to update your firmware. The other thing that's kind of neat about it for some of some of the folks that maybe have a an external box, maybe you have an expansion, a, a, a Micron expansion box, or a, you know different different things you can plug into your Micron a Lambda controller. Uh, that firmware, be, since it's stored on the on the Micron Five, when you plug anything into your Micron Five after doing a firmware update, it automatically senses that these expansions were connected and updates those. So uh, you do not have to do this if you were to connect an older Micron expansion into it. Do this again, you don't have to do that. It it simply is it stores all the firmware on board. So uh, it's very very quick and easy to uh, to to update to update those devices. So it's it really is that easy. It's it's as easy as coming in and checking out the 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 update page, seeing what's there, it automatically it automatically fills that radio button so you can, uh, it assumes you want to uh, download anything that is new, click on the download button, boom, it's onto your laptop, your, your computer, your laptop, and then connect your device and, and update the firmware and you're, uh, and you're off and running. So that process is much easier now and, uh, and that's how you do it. So that's the end of this AIM Learn Fast video. We've been taking comments from throughout social media and trying to come up with new topics that are most useful. So feel free to leave a comment below or get a hold of us on Facebook or on Twitter and just let us know any questions you have or any things that you like about these videos. We try to put up new videos every Tuesday, so just stay tuned to our channel and come back for more videos.